Hi guys, welcome to ATA um, module four, step one. So what we are gonna be doing here is, is say go ahead and run, run workflow step zero one, right? We haven't done anything for the step one. So we just want you to know that it will definitely gonna take you to fail page. So just command it on thumbnail command, like ran workflow step zero one and hit enter. And yeah, it fail. Expert at 13, they expert the output 13, but we only have four. Means we have to do stuff to math 13, right? So what, I, what they mean by that is, hello, please enter your name is one line. Welcome to share two line. The speed is three, main menu four, select five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. But our output only have like one and the speed two, three, four. That's what it means. That's why it feel X. So and right here is a two test completed and one fill. What they mean by that is, uh, remember, um, we do um, step zero and now step one, we make two tests, but only step zero is the set and step zero one means step one is fill. So we have to face that. In order to face that, we have to go, what do you say? Let's see. So um, you can run like run, walk, flow, run, and then it told you to, you know, hit enter. And then it is executing, and then you can just, you know, like pressing control and C to, you know, go back to the command, or um, then you can run again. Workflow ran, and then you can type when it is executed. You can type like ATA shopper right here. And then it will say, Welcome ATA shopper to the first shop name, blah, blah, blah. And just go down here. So what we are gonna do first step is we have to tackle the menu option first. In order to do that, we have to open, um, walk SRC main and Java and gone and then ATA and then menu, right? From there, Initialize the menu option with this array or string. We have to add the array. How many array? One, two, three, four, five, six to check out. So let's go ahead and add the array. Exit. List products. And buy product. Find product. Find product, show card, and check out. Show card. Check out. So first the finish. And then they want you to run step zero one, you know, to show you. 
you know, it will definitely fail because we just at the product. I mean, we just at the release. Um, we have this stuff to do. The next stuff you should add the. Let's see. Um, so here in the grid, but the first line at a print line statement, which output the following test. Hello, dot. Please enter your name, right? So we're gonna find grid method, and then first line. So it should be here, and we can type system dot out dot print line. And they want us to add the string. Hello, dot. Please. Enter your name, right? And don't forget to make the quotation and semicolon. After that, um, we can go ahead to next up. It should be right here like exit, right? To fix this issue at the following line or go to the exit method before the line scanner drop close. So before the line mean it should be at line 59. So what we're gonna do is system out print, right? Existing now, goodbye. So we can just copy and paste it here, this line. They want we to add this line. So we just simply add it here. And then um, the next, uh, We have to go to the grid method to print correct short name, right? Because they want the short mark, not the first short name. When you make the last change, you should be good to go. Consider is writing the short name into its own string variable within the grid method, right? Use the variable value so the value is in hard coded grading. Uh, so first we have to go to the Greek method. So Greek method is right here. What they mean by that is hard coded means is this one, right? So we can go ahead and line 64, I mean 46, and we can add a variable called string. String, we can give name like short name, assign it to the string D short mod, the short name, right? D short mod and my colon. And then we have to delete this one. And we can simply add short name here. So it will say, welcome. ATA shopper to t-shirt mod is associated with the short name variable, right? Um, after that, I think we are good to go now. Like we add this assisting goodbye. We add, um, hello, please enter your name. Welcome test message. We add the short name to short mod. And we add the release. Mm. So asking the shopper the name, welcome the shopper by their name to the t-shirt mod, or put in a menu. Letting the shopper know all options except zero, exit are not implemented. What shopper select zero, exit terminate the application and letting the shopper know what happened, right? What happened? It mean like this guy. Is this mean the is this now goodbye? Is is it now goodbye, right? So I feel like everything is done. We can check. We can run walk you one and hit enter. So 
is say um up to date i mean everything is successful be successful and we can do run walk flow status checks Um, after that, um, you can, you know, check your case status. Case status. And then we have to add the file, right? So in order to add the file, get add doc. Then again, you will add the file in screen green. It has to be committed. After that, we have to get commit. Need minus M and the test job um zero one complete that um we have to get push right so give push spaver dot and if you say everything up to date, it means you already push it to the system. And then you can get lock and see. So we have it here at the app day. Issue our, you know, like give lock, step zero one completed, step zero completed. To that, um, want to make sure just check the status. Uh, try to clean my bad. Everything, nothing to commit, and you just submit your work to the system. So we guys, thank you so much.